Gong Song Shang. Good morning. <laughs> like, yes, big sis. Nah. <laughs> there, there. He's in a good mood most mornings. Well, I did prepare a few things. Kumachan, thanks for everything. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> Nowhere special. I'm just off to win a girl's heart. That's the girl, Lin Chun. Oops, I'm so sorry. Stop me. I have to do this. It's obviously not Lin. No. Wait, what? As I said before, I'm going to visit Wu Song. Right, it was Wu Song. I straight up forgot. <laughs> oh, something. What? Wu Song gonna burn him or something? I made eye contact with Lin Chung. Then. Headed out into the corridor. I knew she'd catch whiff of this. Hell no! No one said it's yours! Yes. Uncle barked and bounced excitedly around me. I said no, eat this instead. Fish sausage? Thank goodness I brought <laughs> I brought a decoy for her. The journey alone was hard enough. Yes, with Wonko on your tail. That is a damn dog. I'm coming here to give you a spanking. Fujikawa son, today finds you as as ever. I butter her up. Wait, what you gonna say about my boy? Is Wu Song here? Oh yeah. I was hoping to become better friends with Wu Song. Of course he did. Then I'll just go find her. That's the best option right now. As much as I wish. Oh, what do you know? So she is, but I'm not looking for you. I shook her hand. I'll see you around. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you did get outplayed. <laughs> there she is. Hello, gorgeous. Hey, Bushou san. She humorlessly corrected, correctly me. It's supposed to be corrected me. What the hell? What are you doing here? Obviously, just relaxing. And why Yamato got to be standing up right now? Space out. Uh, why do you look so spacey right now? I'm allowed to go off on my own here at school. At the very least, otherwise she would be on my ass. And that matters because... Lin Chong and I talk plenty at home. We don't need to do so here too. So I'm here to talk to you. Right now, I'd like to get to know you better. Mm-hmm. It's... I opened the bag I brought. <laughs> I have here a cake made by a local grandmother so skilled that she put professional bakeries to shame. Uh, yeah. 
The quickest way to a girl like her's heart is through her fucking stomach. She is really a girl after my own heart. And that got her. <laughs> Can you look at this shortcake and still say you don't want to chat? <laughs> Obviously, look at her face right now. She drew closer. Ah, ah, ah. Here, have a slice. Okay, never mind. I see. I see Yamato's angle here. What? You don't have to pay me. All I ask in return is that we talk for a few minutes. Get to know each other a little better, you know. Ah, uh, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> ah, there's her cute side. I love it. Scrumptious. Ah, uh, you get it. Wu Song, have you, you and Lin Chung known each other for a long time? That is a weird thing to start out with. Hmm. That much is true. There's some cream on your cheek. <laughs> That's adorable. We don't get to see the cream on her cheek though, unfortunately. Ah, uh, you probably not. Yeah? Oh, okay, maybe she did. Was Wu Song always so focused on protecting and keeping people safe? That is definitely a weird question to be asking right now. Mmm. And there she goes spacing out again. I see. Alright, by the way. Do you want seconds? Oh uh, yeah, keep her, keep her well fed and she'll keep talking. Ah, uh, there she goes. I felt like I was beginning to understand the sort of person Wu Song was. I mean, you should have known that by meeting her. For the fact that she went to the dorms and was eating like it was going out of style. I poked my head in the Lazabell club room. And the little midget is probably still there right now. Uh -huh. And I was right. Uh, Gunsong had flopped down on a futon and was happily playing on her handheld, as she always does. A futon? Where did you find such a forbidden weapon? Uh, she probably brought it? Oh, uh, that's a cheat code. She happily kicked her legs as she lay. Uh, I'm not so sure about her kicking her legs, considering it looks like she's not wearing anything. I played it. The family does hunt sometimes. Right, right, right. Mmm. Sure. I've got to be somewhere later, but I can play until then. Right. I thought we were just going to spend most of this episode talking to um, Wu Song, but I guess it makes sense for the for us to be talking to the midget as well. No, I wasn't expecting that one there. As we played, uh, what? Mm-hmm. Uh, probably proficient. I would not too good, though. She leaned closer until she was practically on top of me. Uh, I guess those are affection points if the little girl is on top of you. I could almost feel our social link rank up right up. <laughs> social link rank up. God, that just makes me think of Persona right now. 
at the school. Thank God. Thank God for that. I like to stop somewhere on my way home. Wait, why are you standing like that? She really is playing the part of the girl next door, isn't she? My wife says we're on time. Well, it better be on time. You just got out of school. Ah, uh, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. You can't sit here and tell me this is not a date. This is definitely a fucking date. No, not really. Take a sip. You're going to test for poison eventually anyways, right? Okay, try to... <laughs> try to make her think this is something else. I told you she going for that girl next door vibe. Or what you thought you said ought to do. And you stumbled right into my goal. Here's your cup. <laughs> well played. Like I said, this kind of this is kind of a date setup. Lin Chang. I heard you like your tea warm, so I'm obviously here for you. <laughs> she did. It's amazing how hot tea in the summer makes you feel so much cooler. Actually, I wonder if that's true. I'm gonna have to try some of that. Plus, I wanted to thank you for how hard you're working to protect me. And some and to get closer to you because that's our goal actually. I mean, my boy is prepared to draw a lot more to tell you the truth, but nah. Wait, don't start crying. It's not that it gets this worked up over really. I mean Uh Considering the type of profession she's in, probably, uh, probably her getting worked up is probably par for the course. Aha! Uh -huh. This is not a gift. I can see the joy seep through her. Yeah, I can see that too. I mean, that smile is different. That smile hit different. Oh, that was just the first of many dates you two are going to go on. It's a well-known store. You might want to come back here yourself sometime. Wait, don't have her come back here herself. So, you know, if there is a shop you want to visit, just tell me and we can go. That is definitely a date. After all, this is your mission. You can't exactly head off by yourself. Exactly. Just more of an excuse. Uh, yeah, you can. You guys gotta go out sometime eventually. You can't just be cooped up in the house. Uh, how about not? Yeah, about that. That is definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> we still don't know when the enemy will finally retreat, which is true, so. The best thing to do is to go about everything normally, but always be on the lookout and always be prepared. She went gone. She went gone. Which means we're going to be continuing like this, which is the best course of action. Uh, what is what that face? What I'm trying to say is, I think maybe I'd like you to be more open about what you'd like. 
so we're not just cooped up we have to go out and do some stuff when you're tense all the time it makes me feel exhausted if that makes any sense i know and it's annoying as hell i mean do you understand because it doesn't sound like you do I don't think that's what he's saying. That's not what he's saying. I know there is ways you can relax, even if just a little. Use them. I know part of the mission is not to overly um, paranoid your target, your target of protection, the th the person you're guarding. Please don't do that. That's just a recipe for disaster most of the time. That's stupid. Why would you even think that? Yes. I'm starting to get a keen understanding of why everyone in the Liang Shen loves to tease her. Too fucking serious. Yes, we understand that. Hell no, that's not gonna do anything. Actually, I'd rather we be closer and in, mo in a more relaxed condition. Learn how to be relaxed but alert at the same time. I slid up to her. Whoa, bro, that doesn't. Mmm. Mmm, Yamato already making moves over here. <laughs> Yamato, she says, kind of vulnerable looking. Maybe I was the one being distant. Wait, the fuck? Oh, actually, I can see where he's going with this one. Lin Chong. What is with this fucking music? It's summer and there's plenty of time until the sun finally fully sets. Not finally sets. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm thinking we should enjoy ourselves somewhere before heading back to the dorms because honestly you need to relax and honestly I would rather be in a more peaceful condition. Now this sounds more like a date. But is there anything you want to do? Anything on your mind that might be good for you to do? Hmm. But if the choice were yours, what would you do? Honestly, it just seems like she can't choose for herself because she has no frame of reference. <laughs> but you're what? I stare directly into her eyes. I will stare into your soul. <laughs> okay, this is actually getting cute. Would you like to go shopping? Okay, that's interesting. Or to karaoke. You know, something normal to a male and a female would do on a date. Simply. Oh, so there is something. Tell me. Honestly, the suspense is killing me. Which was a pretty cocksure thing of me to say. <laughs> Cocksure. <laughs> okay, Yamado. Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I see. So you're an outdoors woman. I can dig it. I can dig it well. Oh. Right, that makes sense. We had an internet connection. The area around the Tama is rich with life, impressively so. Let's go check it out. Wait, aren't you guys literally walking by the Tama? What, dating? It's fine. It's completely fine. Sometimes you have to reassure girls like this who are a little too uptight. 
Uh, hell no. He's a boy. I do live together with my hermit crabs. Crustaceans, so of course. Small things. And like I said, he's a boy. Alright then, let's go. This is definitely a date. We left the beaten path and strolled into the woods. What? Okay. I'm not sure about the woods part. A butterfly fluttered in front of us. Uh, you better watch out what butterfly that is. Because I don't think you want to be touching that shit. Is this a penguin? A penguin? A windmill butterfly. Wow. You really know your stuff. Oh. There's other ones too. Well, of course, you're in the freaking forest. There's a... A blue bottle? I think? Uh, don't touch that. I think that thing is poisonous. I really think that thing is poisonous. Uh, it's a blue something butterfly. That's poisonous. Because I was watching, uh... Casual Geographic, aka Hood Nature. I thought so. Lynn, do you happen to like insects? Well, surprisingly, she's an outdoors girl. <laughs> oh, that ain't that the truth. She lives in the mountains. You have a green thumb. Or is it green finger? Anyway. What? Huh? I never noticed. Well, that's because it's sometimes weird for you to ever look down. There are actually some insects that actually are the reason why some um, crops are edible because those animal because those insects actually eat the poisonous or the bugs and stuff that might contaminate the freaking the specific plant. Those are locusts. No, the grasshoppers. I hope the hell those aren't locusts. Grasshopper terrifying? What? There's a ladybug on this leaf. Well, of course there would be a ladybug. As opposed to a... Uh, you know what? Never mind. They're so cute, aren't they? Until you look at them up close and then their faces are just... <laughs> Celestia? Oh, that, I guess that was the reason for that ladybug Pokemon. I spy another insect. So we're going with that one. <laughs> A fuck what? A tiger beetle. I never realized how much life there was under a single tree. Oh, that's what happens when you actually go out and admire nature for once. But in it more up close and personal. Just watch out what the fuck you touch. Well, most insects that you see on a normal basis aren't really off putting. It's just the ones that you know that are effing poisonous. That, that child is a house girl. I'd probably be uncomfortable if I came across one indoors, but I like seeing them outside. That's because they don't belong indoors. And them in your house means you have an infestation problem. Ah, she's really enjoying herself. Well, that gentle smile was one of our accomplishments. Yes, we know. We don't get too many stories about that sort of thing around here. I know it's mostly in very other countries and states and stuff. Yeah, he ain't got to do all that. When her protective instincts kick in, 
They kick in hard. There's a story behind that, we just haven't heard it yet. You found Natsu? What, seriously? Wait, are you, this the first time you've seen a... I mean, you haven't seen those a lot of times, have you, Yamada? Not the first time, but it's probably a rare occasion. Sweet fish? Probably, oh shit. We were like little kids playing by the water. Or a couple on a date. Because that's also a thing. You're teenagers after all. And we're back to this shit. And this shit. Oh, what? We should be able to find catfish, too. Oh, actually, those are tasty as hell, but looking at them, he's... Wait till you cook them. Maybe you should catch one and eat it. Cook it up. Good idea. I'm still up for the opinion of eating. I mean, you can eat out of this because I've seen one of the girls actually eating out of this river. Was that Wonka's voice? Obviously, you're by the freaking Tama River. I look back towards the road to see her jumping up and down and waving at us, acting like a damn loon. We're on a date. Get lost. It's night. It's not even night. It's freaking dusk, right? Well, the sun is going down. She was right. The sun had set. Or was setting because it's still right there. The two of us looked at each other. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, that's what I'm talking about. That's an excellent question. What are we doing? You're on a date. <laughs> I guess you can't even admit that yet. Said Lynn as she broke into a smile. And the sun set on her radiance. Yamato just freaking fell, fell for a crush. Or felt his first crush in a while. I didn't understand, but it was like a crimson flower blossom and deep within me. It's a effing crush or love at first sight. Either way. You look so beautiful right now. Wait, are you blushing? Damn, her f it's almost hard to tell, but you can actually see the red lines. I think her ear is also blushing, although I'm probably thinking too much of that. I've never seen your smile before. Uh, that's a damn lie. Because we saw that a few minutes. Well, we saw it a little earlier. Mm. Nope. This is the first time I've seen so much as in grin. Well, she wasn't grinning. That was an actual smile. Date success, then. Man. It was a Talk. Absolutely beautiful though. Stunning. Gorgeous. But Yabata ain't about to lay it on thick. <laughs> no, not really. No, I was shocked by how cute it was. Boom. I I spoke too soon. Yabato is gonna lay it good lay it down good. Not he not he ain't gonna go too thick, but he gonna lay it down. That wasn't Okay, what kind of reaction was that? I mean it. I mean, obviously you mean it. I seasonally flicked her forehead. <laughs> and that actually worked. Oh, there's the blush. The hour has gotten late. Let's call it a day. Let me walk you home. Side by side. Maybe hand in hand. Nah, it's probably doing so much. But it was fun hanging out with you. We need to do this again sometime. Definitely. You can't be on high alert all the effing time. You just need to be... You need to find a happy medium. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but I'm going to emphasize this because that's kind of the... 
situation with her. Hell no. Nope. I made up my mind. We'll play again. <laughs> Lin. <laughs> I love how he's just like, nope, we're definitely doing this again. We're definitely going on a second date. I almost wanted to apologize. I was being so aggressive. But I wasn't backing down either. Yamato, when have you ever apologized for being aggressive? You're almost aggressive in every effing route. And then... And then what? Oh shit, what's about to happen? Oh shit! She gave in quickly. She happily said yes. And that's how you know your boy is doing it right. I couldn't help but think she was the kind of girl who liked being pulled into things, even if it meant being jerked around a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of the girls you date in this game. <laughs> because I think he just found his soulmate. Because I don't want to look away. Okay, that's that's laying it on thick. <laughs> ah, that got her. <laughs> that got you. Can't you can't try to deflect it this time. Could any girl in all the world be more adorably flustered? Well, there are a few girls that you've already dated. Freaking Margaret is one of them. Who is adorably flustered when she's with Yamato. But pretty much most of the younger girls are. Like freaking <laughs> Yuki A was adorably flustered. Freaking uh, Fushikawa was definitely flustered. There's a multiple other girls. Lynn was doing so much to keep me safe. I owed it to her to at least support her mentally. Honestly, to get closer to her in any way possible. But Yamato, you're actually. You're, <laughs> Yamato doesn't even realize that he's actually. Um, He's actually um, showing his potential. For now, I can bring her days like this. Opportunities to let it all out. Have some fun. Hang out with a boy your age. Go on dates. Honestly, little respites like that is the spice of life for girls her age. Even girls her age who are in a demanding profession. And most of all, I was enjoying every second of it. I mean, what guy wouldn't? What straight guy wouldn't I have to fucking say? Jesus Christ. Summer break was coming up fast. Hell yeah, you know what that means. This would be a summer for the ages. Damn straight. Especially if Yamato can actually lay some pipe. No, I'm joking.